Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with MGM Marbella. I'm here at the O2 Arena today for the Heyday press conference and with me is American Cruiserweight BJ Flores. Uh, BJ, how you been? I've been good. Uh, looking forward to, uh, to Saturday night. Big fight. David A. Mark DeMore. Uh, looking forward to, you know, David coming back to a very exciting heavyweight division and uh, a lot of good matchups in the future. First and foremost, welcome to England. Are you enjoying your stay? Oh yeah, I love it. Absolutely love it. I've been here many times and I kind of feel like London's like a second home of mine. I've been out here so many times with, uh, you know, with David and on other business and I always have a great time. So uh, it's, it's been great. Uh, I'll speak to you a little bit about your career. Last time out against Shumanov, disappointing result. Uh, what, what went wrong? Um, you know, I, I think, uh, I can't really say what went wrong. I think we outlanded him and uh, the, the, the name of the game of boxing is to outland your opponent. And I outlanded him in power punches and overall punches. Um, he had a little different of a strategy than, than what we what we thought. He normally likes to come forward in his fights, and in this fight, you know, with me, I don't want to say uh, he ran, but he, he ran the entire fight. So it, it was difficult to find, and uh, you know, Shumanov is he's he's a, he's a good fighter. So it was tough to find him in some of those rounds, and a lot of close rounds. He got he got the call in those close rounds where he was moving around, and uh, just got to go back to the drawing board and uh, you know improve. What's next for you? Is the rematch on the cards possibly? Um, no, they're not talking about a rematch. I, I would love a rematch, but it was kind of a boring fight. If he would, you know, sign a contract that he would say, "I'm gonna, you know, come forward and actually fight," instead of just run around the whole time, then uh, maybe the rematch would be a little more intriguing. But uh, you know, I'm gonna fight in late February, early March. Looking forward to coming back, and uh, you know, we'll just see uh, what's what's in the cards and what's in the future. Obviously, talk a little about a little bit about this fight on Saturday. Uh, David Hay, comeback fight, he's had a, a long time out. Do you think that will play a factor in the fight? No, I mean, I think uh, David gave some great examples of who, uh, you know, other, other fighters would, that have been off before, Vitaly Klitschko, um, you know, George Foreman, uh, guys like that, Muhammad Ali. Uh, you know, fighters, in, especially in the heavyweight division, for some reason, doesn't seem to affect them as bad. And I think the rest is good for David. I think he needed it. I think he, he had a lot of injuries. He'd been fighting since he was, you know, 9, 10 years old. Never had a nice break or a nice layoff. And I think the main thing we're going to really see the difference on him is he's got his, his, his energy is all focused in one direction. He's not all over the place right now. He's really focused on, on where he needs to be and where his head needs to be. And I think uh, we're going to see the best David Hay uh, this Saturday night. I've got to ask you a little bit about the cruiserweight scene in Britain. Not sure if you know much about it, but obviously Tony Bellew won the European strap not so long ago. Is that a fight you could be interested in? I would love that. Yeah, I've, I've tried to, uh, you know, talk to Tony several times about, you know, a potential fight. And, you know, um, I, th I think he's had a couple good victories at, at Cruiserweight now. He fought, uh, uh, I believe he fought Masterneck on his last fight. And uh, it was a close fight. A lot of people thought it was a, it was very close. And congratulations to Tony on a, on a, on a great win. But absolutely, that would be a fight I would absolutely love. And I feel like a, a, a fight between Tony and me would make a lot of sense and be a lot of great action. And also, you could come to your favorite country, England, and, That's right. and fight there. Would that be a dream of yours to come true? Um, you know, I don't know if it'd be a dream come true to fight Tony because there'd be no title. No fighting in Britain. Oh, I would I'd absolutely love to fight in Britain. And, uh, you know, a lot of great history here, a lot of great champions here. One of my favorite fighters when I was a kid was, you know, Lennox Lewis. I absolutely loved him. And, uh, you know, I just, I just feel like, um, you know, with, with, with boxing right now, there's a lot of exciting things happening in the UK. I think with uh, Tyson Fury, a huge, huge win over Vladimir Klitschko, and with David coming back, and Anthony Joshua, and Tony Ballou starting to make some noise. I think it's just a lot of good things going on in this, uh, in, the, in the UK landscape for boxing. So it'd be something I'd be very interested in, and uh, I'm, I'm all here to send over a contract. Well, you versus Bill, you'd be a great fight, and I would love to see that personally. Well, if he sees this, hopefully we can make it happen. That'd be great. That'd be fantastic. And Tony, if you don't have anything on the schedule, let's, let's, let's make it happen. Let's give the fans a great fight. Let's do that. All right, well, BJ Forrest, thank you very much for coming to IFL TV and enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers. Thanks.